Hi everyone, it's Velma Vouloir here and today we are doing a super cute sort of 60s casino style showgirl routine. Uh, this is absolutely beginner friendly so if you are brand new to showgirls or even just brand new to burlesque, uh, this is the class for you. We are going to start by breaking down a couple of really simple techniques uh, that will be of use to you, not just for this routine, but across your sort of burlesque repertoire in general. And then we are going to learn a super cute little routine. Uh, so things that you need for this class, yourself, pop something on, make sure it's comfortable to wear. You might want to dress up a little bit. Uh, having some heels, just a nice low comfortable heel for this routine is going to be perfect. And then you'll probably want your water bottle on standby as well. Okay, are you ready? Let's get into it. All right, we are going to get into this class. Uh, just one quick note, please make sure that you have done a warm up prior to this point. Uh, we do have a few warm ups from you, for you to choose from. So uh, just click on the link and I've got a cute little showgirl classic Bella style warm up for you to do first. So once you've done that, meet me back here and we will get going. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing that I would love to go through in today's class is what I like to call showgirl stance. Yeah, it seems basic. How do we stand when we're doing burlesque or showgirl style? It is simple, but there are a few little, little bits and bobs to think about, which will really elevate uh, your body awareness and your posture and how you sort of start all of your movements. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to turn out our supporting leg slightly. So you just pick whichever leg you like. I'm turning out my left leg here, but you go with what feels good for you. So a slight turn out, just meaning that I'm hinging and twisting my heel slightly forward. Okay, now I'm stepping up onto that so that my hip is directly over my heel. From here, I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to have it so that my heels are directly one in front of the other. So if I turn on so that you can see, my heels are completely in line. Okay, so I'm doing that. I am pushing the heel of my left leg right down into the floor. And as I do that, I am lengthening up beautifully, strong and tall through my pelvis, long through my spine. I'm going to come right up onto the tippy tip tip top of my big toe here. Now, if you are wearing heels that don't have a flexible sole, uh, this will be somewhat limiting for you and that is totally fine. You'll just sort of feel like you're sort of resting on the ball of your foot a little bit more. However, if you are wearing a dance heel with that beautiful flexible sole, I want you to be getting right, right, right up onto that tippy tip top of your big toe. From there, we are going to turn or bevel our foot slightly. So I am leaning slightly onto the side of my big toe, pressing that heel forward. Imagine you're trying to like squash a bug, you know, or it's like at the end of Greece when Sandy's all sexy and she puts out the cigarette. It's kind of that little bit of that vibe there. Okay. So we are rolling in and what this will naturally do is cause our knee to cross over. Um, if you do want to go into a little bit more detail about this, I know Whiskey has done a really fantastic little breakdown of a bevel for you. So if this is something that's new to you, you may want to check that one out at some point as well. So our knees are crossing over. From here, I want you to think about tucking your tailbone under. Okay, so we're actually lifting. And this does seem counterintuitive because so much of what we do in dance is like bum out, chest out, but that's not what we're doing here. Okay, so the tailbone is tucked under. I want you to draw your belly button to your spine. Now what I want you to do is imagine that you are wearing like a corset and someone is yanking those laces really tight. And what that is going to do is close down your rib cage, okay? And really activate through your tummy. So imagine that. And now from here, I want you, sorry, this is ambulance sound in the background. <laughs> um, I want you to lift your chest. So I'm lifting my chest. I'm not arching my back, okay? So corset laces, whoom, here, tailbone tucked under, but then I'm lifting through my chest. It's like you're growing and elongating through your spine more than anything. I'm out of breath just talking through this. Um, okay, so we're here, chest lifted from here, shoulders up, back and down, squeezing your shoulder blades. Sometimes we use the sort of imagery of trying to, you know, imagine there's like a pencil in between your shoulder blades and you're trying to squeeze and stick that there as much as you can. 
Okay, shoulder blades squeezing. Now I want you to lengthen through your neck and I want you to lift your chin slightly. All right, so this is a really, really important one because so often when we are dancing, especially if we're not quite confident with the steps or maybe someone's watching us, we're a little bit nervous, the first thing we do is whoom, we look down at the floor, our eyeline goes to the floor. And so I find that if you consciously think about, oh, before I even do anything, I'm lifting my chin and my eye line. It's almost, you know, it's in the like top quarter of the wall. I'm sort of, my eyes are constantly up. And that is naturally going to give your body an energy of openness and confidence, even if we may not feel that way. Okay, fake it till you make it. So let's break that down again. Turning out through my supporting leg, heels one in front of the other, right up on that tippy tip toe, beveling my ankle, knees crossing, tailbone tucked under. We've got our corset on, squeezing those laces, dropping those ribs down, but lifting through the chest, shoulders back and down, squeezing our shoulder blades, neck long, chin up. And now the final, final thing is I want you to place your hands on your waist, but I don't want you to squeeze. They're imaginary, okay? It is a gentle hold. There is no actual weight being pressed into my waist. It is all coming from the chest and the shoulders. And now I want you to look at yourself in the mirror or look dead at the camera. I can see you, I'm right here with you. And I want you to give me your biggest, cheesiest Las Vegas showgirl smile, yes. Big cheesy smile, <laughs> big toothy grin, yes. Beautiful and tall, gorgeous posture, squeeze everything. And relax. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all right, so that is your showgirl stance. Like I said, it seems simple, but there are so many little things to think about. Uh, and if you can get in the habit of just standing like this, you know, whenever you have a moment throughout the day, practice it on both legs, beveling both feet, and watch, watch the difference, watch the energy that you can bring to all of your classic burlesque. So we are starting in that position, and no matter what we do, I want you to always come back to that, you know? That's like our base position. So that is the first thing. The second thing I wanted to talk about before we start our choreography are just some tips with our arm movements in showgirl style, uh, also known as pas de bras. Uh, so when we do the showgirl style, really the art of this style is about kind of doing the bare minimum or what is perceived to be the bare minimum, but doing it in a way that just looks so glamorous and full of poise and charm and control. And even though it, we might not look like we're doing much, every muscle in our body is working. If you think about sort of the traditional showgirls in Europe or in Las Vegas, think about the, you know, the 20 kilos of feathers and rhinestones that they are wearing on their back. So everything has to be really controlled and strong. Yeah, it's about looking gorgeous while you're sort of just mincing around the stage. Okay, so when we talk about our port de bras, we have our shoulders back and down. Remember what I just said about squeezing our shoulder blades? We have that. Now, our hands are going to be out to the side and I want you to actively press your shoulders down. So even though my shoulders are really pressing, really squeezing, I want your hands, specifically your fingers, to stay quite soft. So there's tension here, but as it goes further down the arm, it's soft. So we're not uh, here, beautiful and soft. Now, as far as hands go, a little tip for you. I always say your index finger, your pointer finger, is what is connecting the line all the way up your arm. So Rather than thinking about, you know, all of your hands needing to be perfectly straight, just focus on your index finger. So if my index finger is out, even though there is a little bit of a dip in my hands here, I can connect that line from finger to finger, okay? Um, if we want to do a little bit more on hands quickly, I always say my ring finger and my middle finger are kind of almost glued together, okay? It's a bit of... This little bit Star Trek, is that the Star Trek one? No, it's this, that's the Star Trek one. Yeah, I'm cool, I know things. Okay, <laughs> anyway, ring finger and middle finger are sort of glued together and they drop slightly, okay? So pointy finger out, they're together. The pinky finger is pretty relaxed 
and then the thumb is just tucked in, okay? Ever so slightly there. Beautiful. So the more that you can practice that, the better. Now, I like to talk about our showgirl arms and our paw de bras as though we have a big analog clock around us, okay? So, oh no, I have to do this mirroring. I don't know if I'll do it, but I'll see how I go. So if we imagine we've got all the numbers of a clock going around, if we've got 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Poppy's giving me a thumbs up, which means I'm doing it correctly. Yes. Okay. So what is going to happen? I like to say, if you are doing any kind of showgirly arm, any position, I'll often refer to the numbers on a clock. So for example, I might say, put your arms at 10 and two, in which case we've got 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Yeah. About here. So if like, this is 11 and this is 12 just so you know. And if you are ever doing anything, you know, your own choreography, um, I often say pretty much as long as one of your arms are hitting a number on that imaginary analog clock, you're pretty good, yeah? So if we think about maybe having nine and three, that feels okay, yeah? So as long as you imagine any of these numbers even here, the only ones, probably just not both hands at 12, and probably just not both hands at six. But anything else is gonna look real cute, okay? So that's a little tip for you. Um, the final thing I'll mention about arms is, I talk about this in every single class I do, so you're probably sick of me talking about it now, but the room is full of honey. The room is full of molten honey. There is resistance through the air. Yeah, so that it feels so different in your body to be moving your hands through air as it does moving your hands through honey. Yeah, it just creates extra activation through all of your little micro muscles in your body and it just gives it that little bit of electricity. So whenever we talk about the hands, always pushing, always resisting through that honey with everything we do. Okay, so those are my little tips for you and we will come back to those as we do our choreography. Uh, so let's get started. We are going to start with a few, a few steps back. We're going to start with a little walk forwards. Now the style of this routine is very kitschy, cutesy, cutie pie. Uh, so smile, smile when you're doing it. Feel free to be a little bit silly with it. Okay, so we are holding the first two counts of eight. Uh, in the song. Yes, the beats are quite fast, so it won't feel too long to be holding. From here, we are going to be taking a little walk. Now, when we do this, I want you to think about making your knees as crossed as you can. Okay, so it's sort of like walking down a tightrope. Uh, when I talk about our showgirl stance, oh, we're starting in our showgirl stance. I forgot to mention that. So, boom. We've got our beautiful showgirl stance to start. And then when we step, we're going to step forward on the right leg first, and we're going to take four steps forward, uh, leading, did I say that? Leading with the right? I think I said that already, but that's okay. It's a reminder, I was just testing you. We're taking four steps, really crossing those legs over. I'm squeezing through my inner thigh here, and as I step, I'm turning the leg out to sort of expose uh, the inner thigh, and it's just going to create a beautiful long leg. Uh, the hands for here, we are going to be just taking the first two steps with our hands on our waist. So we're going walk, walk. For the second two steps that we do, we're going to lift our arms up and drop them down with a flexed wrist. So we call this like penguin cute little like penguin hands. But to get from here, whenever we transition arms in showgirl, we always want to lead from the shoulder and ripple it down. So shoulder, elbow, wrist. Yeah, or in this instance, that's what we're doing. So when I think about doing it, I'm gonna lift my chest, shoulder, elbow, down. Okay, we're peeling everything out when we do. So we've got two walks, hands on the hips, two walks, one, boom. Okay, so that is going to go five, six, seven, and walk, walk, up, down. We're gonna pause. Okay, from there, we are going to just do some cute little hip, 
hip pops, I suppose is what we're going to call them. So we're in our beautiful bevel. Everything is gorgeous. We've got our hands in our little penguin position. The hip is going to just go up and down. So it is the hip that is our bent leg. So in this instance, my left hip. And we are going to go two slow and four fast. Up, down, no, one slow, two fast. Sorry. So up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. From there, we'll just add on a tiny little bit more. We are going to do some hips. So we've gone, rather than just going up and down, and feel free to also, when you're doing your hips, get, kind of get your shoulders into it a little bit. You can be like, you know, a little bit cruisy, feeling good. From here, we are going to do some hip circles and the hip is going to go from front to back. Woo. Yeah. So there are a lot of different burlesque grinds that we do. This, I don't want you to think about it as being like a sexy grind. It is more of a cutesy, like, look, look how clever I am. Look at what my hips can do. Okay. And we are doing uh, the same thing. So we've got one that is slower and two that are faster. Okay. Let's just mark that through from the top and then we'll give it a go with music. Okay. So we're in our starting position. We've got five, six, seven, and we go walk, walk, lift, down, up, down, up, down, up, down down, then we circle slow, circle, circle, circle. Okay, from here, we're going to step back, step and reposition, and then we're going to do a big explosion with our hands. Okay, so we've just taken from our penguin hands, I'm crossing my right arm in front of my left, but it doesn't really matter which arm crosses in front, and then we're going to lift and open. Okay, let's try all of that with some music. Okay, we're gonna take it from the top with some music. So beautiful showgirl stance, ready? Here we go, five, six, seven, and walk. Walk, up, down, hip, hip. Big circle, woo, too fast. Good, we step back. Big circle with the arms, Woo. lovely, gorgeous, okay. So if you need to rewind the video and practice that a few times before we add on, feel free. Otherwise we are gonna keep going. So we are now in our bevel with our right leg in front again. Yes, because we have swapped and we've done our big, beautiful arm, big, beautiful port de bras here. Now, one thing I also wanted to mention with that big arm sweep, I want you to think about starting it quite quickly and energetic. And then as it lifts up, as the chest opens, it kind of slows and draws out a bit. Yeah, so it's not an e even circle, da, 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 da. We're starting quick, whoom. It's like the first half of it goes really, really quickly. And then the whole end is like oozy and gorgeous and delicious. So we've done that. Think of the big fountains in Las Vegas. Gorgeous. Okay, from here, we are taking an adorable little step touch, step touch. So we're going back to our little penguin hands after our big fountain port de bras. So I'm stepping over to the right. I'm going to go step, touch with a little bend. And as I do that, I'm sort of keeping my arm out, almost looking ever so slightly over that right shoulder. Okay. So we've gone here and then I'm going step, touch. And then we do the same thing over to the left, step, touch. And now I'm going to do a little mini circle with my feet. So I'm stepping right first. I'm going to go right, left, right, left. So I'm just stepping the feet one at a time. And as I do that, I'm taking a big circle with my hips from right to left. Yep, so we're going step, touch, step, touch, step with the hip together. Okay, from here, we're going to go for a little walk. Now, when we take our walk, we are going, oh, no, da, 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 da. ha. I forgot the next eight. I got ahead of myself. That doesn't sound like me, does it? So we have done our little step, 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 step. We are going to do a little dip 
down with the hips. So I want you to think that we are drawing like the teeniest, tiniest little smiley face with our hips as we bend our knees. So my hips are going over to the right, dip up. Okay, if you've done any of my erotic grind style classes, you'll know I love a hip dip. We do them really big and wide. This is like a really small cutesy version of that. Okay, so we're going down and up. And then I'm going to do some shoulders. And as I do that, I'm going to go down, down, up, up. So a little bend and up. Okay, just to recap that from our little fountain moment here. So our step touch, we go step, touch, step, touch, circle, six, seven, and down, and up. Sorry, a little sweepy with the hands there. And then shoulder, shoulder, up, up. Okay, next little bit. Now we're up to where I thought we were before. We're going for a little walk. So I'm going to step out with my left. Now, these walks, we are going out, cross, out. So I'm leading, stepping over with that left leg. So I'm going to go out. As I do that, my arms are going to come out to that three and nine position that we spoke about with our beautiful pointy fingers, pressing my shoulders down. So I'm going to step out, out. Then I'm going to cross with my uh, right foot in front, out, cross. And when I'm crossing, I want you to really think about straightening and turning out that leg. Then we're going to step out again and I'm going to point. Okay, and as I point, I'm sinking my hips over onto that left side. So we've just done our down and up, shoulder, shoulder, up, up, step, cross, step, point. Okay, and as you do that, I, every single step that you take, I want your shoulders to just do a subtle little circle. Ah. What it is not, and what is very common, is that people want to go crazy with their elbows. Yeah, it's not this sexy octopus. There's nothing wrong with it, but we're not doing sexy octopus right now. I want you to think little, little shoulders, more of a sort of almost like a little salsa kind of feeling more than anything. So as we go, we step out, boom, boom, boom. Ah, little breath, ah, open the shoulders. Beautiful, okay. Let's take that from the top and we'll go right up to that point there. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go. Cheesy smiles. Let's go, we go, walk, walk, up, out, slow hip, too fast, boom, big circle, oh, step, oh, fountain, sorry, I stuffed that up, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, circle, dip, down, shoulder, and out, and hold, yes, very good. All right, so once again, if you need to rewind, um, feel free to do that as many times as you like. Otherwise, we will keep going with the choreography. All right, we are moving on. So we have just done our beautiful little showgirl walks with our shoulders. We've just gone out, cross, out. <sighs> so when I'm here, it's like a little breath. I'm opening up through my chest. I am leaning into that left leg and I'm stretching that leg nice and straight. So from here, we're going to do a couple of walks back the other way into a little turn. So what is going to happen? I'm going to step, step. When I step, I'm going to try and keep the leg somewhat straight and I'm gonna shift my hip over. And then from there, I'm going to cross the leg in front and then we are going to do a little turn. So when I step for my turn, I'm going to step out onto my right leg, put my weight onto my right leg and then I'm going to quickly zip my inner thighs together and cross my left foot over my right. As I do that, I'm going to twist through my shoulders to turn to come all the way back. Okay, so imagine that your legs are like a little corkscrew 
we're winding them up and then winding them the other direction. So I'll break that down again. Uh, just to be clear, we've done our steps of step. Ha! Huh? So in step, cross, I'm going to go step squeeze, turn around, and I'm winding, unwinding my legs and winding them the other way. And from there, I'm going to take my back leg, which is my left leg, and I'm just going to zip that into a little bevel. Okay, sometimes doing these can be a little bit easier when we do them a little bit faster. So give it a go. Once again, if you need to pause the video and just have a practice doing your little turn, whoo, give it a couple of goes. Um, spotting is another thing. I won't go into crazy detail about spotting, but just make sure that when you are doing that, you are picking a point somewhere in the room. I typically like to do it um, the direction that I'm going. So if, for example, I have gone step cross, I am going to probably keep my spot relatively in line with the front. As I turn, I'm going to keep looking at that point as long as I can. Then when I can't ugh, twist my neck anymore, I'm gonna zip it around to help keep my balance, okay? It helps, you know, you'll always finish where you started if you do that. Okay, breaking down that walk one more time because it might be a little bit tricky if we're new. So we've just done our shoulder, shoulder. So we've gone shoulder, shoulder, up, up. Hands go out, step, cross, step, and relax. Step, cross, step, cross, turn around. Now, because I'm a silly goose, I forgot to talk about arms on that turn. Genius me. What we are doing, because our arms are already out, I'm going to take my left hand and it is just going to sweep around, gather into a little beautiful pot de bras. So if you've ever wanted to pretend you were like the ballerina in your jewelry box, this is the vibe. That's what we're going for. So we're going to gather the hand around, gather the hand around, and then we are going to zip that foot in. Okay, as we zip the foot in, uh, hands do nothing because the hands are coming next. Okay, so we've zipped around. We've placed our, what is this one called again? Our left, our left foot in front. <laughs> From here, I'm going to do another little sort of showgirly arm moment. I'm going to lead with my right arm. We're going to reach and we're going to reach. So this is, imagine if we were doing our kind of three to nine showgirl clock, but we're going to bring it slightly more forward, okay? So we are here, we're gonna go reach, reach, and you can sort of look at the hands when you do that. Again, we're drawing attention to really simple gestures in that showgirl style. Reach, reach. Now we're going to pretend that we're a beautiful swan, a beautiful bird, and we're going to flap our wings twice, leading from the shoulders down to the elbows. So we're going to go up, drop, up, drop, and then we're going to take it down, do another one of our beautiful, whoa, our big Las Vegas fountain arm. And then from here, we're going to step back. I'm stepping back on my left leg into our final position. That's right, we are all the way at the end, uh, into our beautiful showgirl flamingo pose. So what that is, I'm gonna break that down for you and there's different versions. Now, the first thing that we can do is keep that foot on the floor. So when I do this final position and we wanna, we wanna go out with a big bang, yeah? I wanna make it really cute. I have my hips facing away. So my hips are facing to the corner, but my chest is turning to the front. So exact same sort of showgirl stance that we were doing, but rather than having our hips a little bit more to the front, we're going to twist them over a little bit. Now I am taking my back leg, which in this instance is my left leg, and I'm really pushing that heel down into the floor. What we can do is we can take our front leg. If we don't want to try balancing it off the floor, we can just take it really point that toe and then crossing the arms and ah, so I've got my front hand or my, my front hand, my front arm, the one that is closest to the audience or the camera that is coming onto my waist. And remember, I'm not squeezing and grabbing. It is just pretend, pretend in, in place there. And my back hand is coming up again, lead from the shoulder, then the elbow, then the wrist. And I'm taking my palm down. You could kind of do, if you wanted to do more of a palm up, 
look how clever I am, you totally can. Um, but I'm gonna go palm down a little bit for this one. Beautiful, so beautiful posture. Now, if you want to try taking that foot off the floor for your final position, what I want you to think about doing is again, pressing that back heel down into the floor and then growing up long through the spine. So it's like an opposing movement, yeah? If we don't think about pushing down or up and our weight is kind of just center, it's really easy. Your body doesn't know where to go. But if you're kind of stretching and being pulled from opposite directions, suddenly you find you have a lot more stability. So that's what we're going to do. And then I want you to take the inside of your front foot, my right foot in this instance, and I want you to physically touch the inside of your leg so that when you do that, there is full contact. I am squeezing. Imagine like you're trying to wipe something off the side of your shoe, but kind of make it look hot and make it like no one knows that you're actually trying to wipe something off. Yeah, so we're gonna squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze as high as you can go. And then as you do that, I want you to kind of lift your butt as well and pop your butt. Beautiful. So we're going to go up and then we're going to push, 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 point your toe. I want the foot touching. I don't want ankle touching. Yeah. I don't want hovering in space. I want up. Beautiful. Pop your butt. Big cheesy smile as much as possible. We'll just go through that with counts one more time and then we're gonna try it all the way from the top. So we've just done our little step, touch, step, touch around, six, seven, and little dip with the hips and shoulder, shoulder, up, up. We walk, cross, out and rest and step, cross, step, cross, gather the arms, turn around from there. We reach, oh, we swap the feet as we do our arm. So we go out, out, lift, lift, drop, up. Yes, then we step back again. We swap the feet. I just had a little moment and boom. But that happens quite quickly. Okay. Shall we do that from the top with the music? and I will count it as best I can. Okay, so I want big cheesy faces. If at the start you wanna do a little bop or have a little boogie, please feel free. I will call this one out and then we will give another one a go and I'll try not to count it, okay? Let's see how we go. All right, beautiful showgirl stance. Let's go. Ready? Six, seven, two, walk, 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 arms, down, hip, up, too fast. Big hip, ooh, good, too quick. Step, big fountain, ooh. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Circle, dip, shoulder, walk, we go. Out, cross, out, press, step, 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 turn. Good. Uh, let's do it again. And this time I won't call it out. All the, all the more time for big cheesy faces. Okay. <sighs> Are we ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Up, everyone again feel free rewind that video as many times as you need to practice 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 have fun if you stuff it up don't worry about it give it another go uh, I hope you had as much fun as I did uh, please if you would like to do a cool down now once again we do have a lot of separate videos uh, where you can just have a nice relaxed cool down I need a drink I'm out of breath 
But thank you as always for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again next time. See you later.